What's up everyone, this is Busy Les here and welcome back to my channel which is all about making music, music production, sound design, Ableton Live and all things in between. So this episode will be slightly different and I'm making this episode especially for the ones that are starting their journey with Ableton Live and sound design and uh, VSTs and DAWs. There's so many difficult terms and difficult uh, things to learn at the beginning that even the quite simple things might be kind of daunting and actually really difficult. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and find a VST plugin inside your DAW. This is actually quite easy, but let's go from the beginning. So VST plugins are the plugins like an extensions to your DAW that can help you create more sounds or some effects so you can change the sound of uh, what you're playing and make it more interesting. And there are loads of loads of VSTs around. This is a really huge market at the moment. There are some VSTs that are paid, some are very expensive, but there are some VSTs that are actually for free. And today we're going to be searching for a VST that is free and installing it and trying if it works. So actually, let's go. So the plugin I'm interested in downloading today is called Valhalla Space Modulator. I need a coffee. Okay, so let's find Valhalla DSP website. ValhallaDSP.com. Now we have all these things here on the website. Cool. But let's uh, go to plugins and let's find this one. So the three last ones are the free. So Freak Echo, Space Modulator, and Supermassive. You definitely want to have Supermassive. That's a go to delay and reverb plugin. Really, really good. And it's for free. But today I'm going to download a space modulator because I don't have it yet. And seems like a cool plugin. So what do we see here? It's free. Go to downloads. Demos and downloads. Space modulator. Okay. Like this version, I'm installing the Mac version 1.2.8. Let's download it to the desktop. That's fine. And once it's download, you just simply open it and double click on it. Continue, continue. Agree. Well, installing things on Macs are actually very simple. You don't really need to do anything. You just press install and just type in your password and it installs. That's it. Now, how will we find it now? If it's installed, it should be somewhere in our DAW. So let's launch a Ableton Live or any DAW that you have. Now, on the left side panel, we have this little thing called plugin. So let's click on that and let's click on VST3 and let's find Valhalla, Valhalla DSP. So we have the Valhalla Space Modulator. Simple as that. So if you want to use it on anything, we have Grand Piano here, for example, on the new track. Now let's find the plugin again. It's in plugins, Valhalla, Valhalla Space Modulator. Let's just drop it on the track like that. And there we go. We have the depth, we have the rate. There are some presets. Okay, that's cool. We have some more presets. That's crazy. But anyway, that's not going to be a review of this plugin. As for now, I might review that later. But the point was to show how to install the VSTs on a Mac. That's very simple. Okay, so let's go to the Windows version now. So installing a Valhalla Space Modulator on Windows is basically same or very similar with a tiny little exception because folders in Windows are slightly different. So let's go to the website, download a latest Windows version. There we have it. After downloading, we will just basically open it, unpack it, run the installer. That might happen. So we press more info and run anyway. And what we need is basically probably only the VST3 plugin. But if you are using a different DAW than Ableton, you might also need AAX and 2.4. So let's leave it as it is. Let's press next. And now I'll accept all the agreements, of course. Press next. And now this is where it gets slightly tricky. So if you have some other VSTs and you haven't changed that folder ever, you just leave it as it is, you press next. That's the default folder for all the VST2 plugins. And so that's good as it is, but I have to change it slightly to a different folder because all of my VSTs are in a custom folder and I'll show you everything about that as well. 
So we are going to disk A audio and we have the VST2. Okay, then press next. And the same here, that's the VST3 or VST64 folder. This is a default one, so C, program files, common files, VST3. And we would normally leave it like that unless you have your folder in a different place like I do. So let's press browse and let's find A, audio and VST3. And then we press next. Of course, we are ready to install, so let's install it now. Now, that was so fast and so simple. Let's press finish and let's run our Ableton. Now we are in Ableton and if we are already here, we can just check the plugins. So the plugins are here and we can find them in the VST2 Valhalla or VST3 Valhalla space modulator. So that's where it is. But I've been talking about some custom folders and how to set it up. Normally, if you go to options and preferences, this is the plugin tab. And normally you would use a standard non-custom folder. So if you have these all rings off, use VST3 plugin system folders, you leave it on. That's how it is by default. But if you have some custom folders, you might want to turn this on. So use VST3 plugin custom folder. Let's press on. And normally you browse and you find the same folder, VST3, select folder. And it will scan for plugins. If they find any new plugins, it will just show them in the browser here. The same for VST2, because some plugins only come in the VST2 format. Now we pressed it on, and this is our VST2 plugin custom folder, A Audio VST2. Okay, but what if you had your Ableton already running and you've installed a new plugin and you don't see it here, like it doesn't show here? What you do is you go back to the options, preferences, and then you just press rescan and it will scan all the plugins that are just added and it will show them right in this browser here in the plugin section. So now let's check if it installed properly. Let's drag it into any of the tracks. Now we have it here. Perfect. Everything working fine. Brilliant. Okay, so that's basically it in terms of installing VSDs on Windows. And now it doesn't matter if you're on Mac or Windows uh, and which DW do you have. The process is very simple as you've seen, very straightforward, basically like installing any other program, just download it, install it, and it should already be in your DW. Just remember to relaunch your DW if you can't find it or go to the options and rescan your plugins. And if you want to know what are some other very interesting and very useful plugins, you really want to check this video here about seven free plugins that you can download and use. These are the plugins that I actually use. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and the like button, that helps a lot. Thanks so much for watching and see you guys in the next video. Cheers.